Clayton County Schools is launching a new plan to address a spike in violence and fights. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Bellamy. And I'm Faith Jesse. And now part of this includes creating spaces on campus to separate students dealing with disciplinary issues. 11 Alive's Brittany Klein-Peter walks us through the plan and what parents think of it. In the last few hours, I spoke to a handful of moms who have students in the school district about the superintendent's plans. Having four children in the Clayton County school system, um, I think that'll be kind of rough on them, really. So I think that is a great idea, just so they don't feel left out. Working moms we spoke to at this beauty salon say something needs to change in tackling violence in their children's schools. But their opinions were mixed on whether creating virtual learning spaces on campus to separate students would work. It's different, but I think it'll help. I mean, I do agree that when, when you take send them home, I mean, they're not doing anything at home. Most parents are at work. District leaders say the idea behind the opportunity rooms is to provide elementary students with resources and assistance instead of suspending them and sending them home. The district also has secondary schools to accommodate middle and high school students dealing with disciplinary issues. It's giving them a place to go, to cool down, to get themselves together so that they can be reintegrated into the classroom. The overall goal is to provide a response that leads to a new outcome. According to the Georgia Department of Education, there were just under 6,000 disciplinary incidents reported last year in Clayton County with more than half of those resulting in out-of-school suspensions. We want to be on the proactive side so that we can save our students from suspending them out of school to be able to give them the resources, be able to give them the interventions that, that will, will make them productive and successful inside of those learning environments. Leaders say they're also working to offer kids safe after-school options by restoring basketball programs at all schools and adding golf and other activities. Leaders tell me some of the changes are already in place in some schools, but students and staff will see the rest of the changes over the course of this year. In Clayton County, Brittany Klein-Peter, 11 Alive News.